aircraft landing is one of the complex phases in air navigation, especially during poor weather and low visibility conditions. The pilot required instrument guidance during such poor visibility and bad weather conditions. There are various ground-based approach guidance systems created over the period of time to provide precise instrument guidance. These systems helps to align the aircraft to runway centerline and achieve safer landings. Instrument Landing System or ILS is the most commonly used instrument landing guidance system for decades. ILS provides precise vertical and lateral guidance and supports straight in approaches. But the problem with ILS requires extensive ground infrastructure. This system required dedicated localizer and glide slope antennas for each runway to provide precision landings. Ground-based augmentation system or GBOS is one of the GNSS augmentation systems available globally. GBOS specifically designed to improve the global navigation satellites provided data and use it for precise landings. GBOS designed to replace the conventional instrument landing system and provide up to category 2 landings with appropriate equipments available on ground and aircraft. GBOS provides navigation and precision approach coverage in the vicinity of the airport approximately up to 23 nautical mile radius. Let's see how the ground-based augmentation system works. To fly using GBOS approaches, airports should have appropriate ground infrastructure and aircraft should have relevant equipments and systems onboarded. GBOS ground infrastructure in the airport generally consists of multiple GBOS reference receivers, GBOS ground facility or central processing unit, and VHF data broadcast transmitters. GBOS reference receivers are precisely surveyed ground stations receive signals from GNSS satellites. The reference receivers measure the time of transmission between the GNSS satellites and the reference antenna to determine the distance. Then GBOS ground facility compares the measured distance with the actual distance, based on the satellite position and true GPS reference receiver position, to identify the errors in the measurement. GBOS Ground Facility calculates errors based on data received from multiple reference receivers located on the airport and send average error for corrections using VHF data broadcast transmitters, form of VHF data broadcast messages every second to the aircrafts, within 23 nautical miles from the airport vicinity. This VDB messages generally contains the corrections, integrity parameters, GBOS Ground Facility characteristics and approach path guidance for up to 48 approaches, to fly GBOS approaches aircraft must have GNSS, GBOS receivers along with VHF antennas. In general, aircrafts equipped with GBOS avionics and MUDI mode receiver allows aircrafts to receive both GNSS signals and GBOS correction messages. Also, MUDI mode receivers allows aircraft to use ILS approaches whenever it's required. So in this case, aircraft receives navigation data from GNSS satellites and correction messages from VHF data broadcast transmitters from ground stations. GNSS avionics capable to apply the corrections to the received GNSS navigation data and allows aircraft to get more precise navigation guidance. For pilots the navigation using GBOS approaches and ILS almost same in terms of navigation guidance. Also, GBOS ground facility monitor the performance of each satellites and stop broadcasting the correction messages in case of any potential issues identified in the satellite data. It will help GBOS avionics in the aircraft to stop using the navigation data from specific satellite for safety reasons. Benefits GBOS provides various benefits. Cost efficient, single GBOS system is enough to cover all runways in the airport, whereas ILS required separate antennas for each runway. Also, GBOS can cover multiple airports if it's available in the coverage area. This will reduce the cost of infrastructure and maintenance. Multiple approaches, GBOS capable to support multiple approaches for single runway, whereas ILS supports only stride and approach. This will give flexibility to controller to guide the multiple aircrafts to reduce the traffic conjunction. Increased coverage, the GBOS supports the aircraft transition from en route waypoint to terminal waypoint with the help of increased coverage. No additional or minimal training required for pilots, same like ILS, GBOS signals are received through multi-mode receivers and used for guidance. So for pilots, it provides similar to ILS approach guidance 
and no additional training required to fly G-Boss approaches. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos.